Hello, this is Programming with Dan, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Allegro library with Microsoft Visual Studios. So here's your Microsoft Visual Studios, your Solution Explorer might be on the right, I like it on the left, so I moved it. And go to File, let's create an empty project. Setting up Allegro. So you got your solution and then you have your project. So right click project, go to manage NuGet packages. Make sure you're under browse, not installed or updates and type in Allegro. Uh, this first one here is the library. It's 5.2.7.1, this current version. And the dependencies are right beneath it. The dependencies will get installed if you install the main one, so you don't need to do both. And on the right hand side, just click install. It should just take a few seconds and it's installed. And if everything worked correctly, right click your project again, open your properties. Under configuration properties, you should now have an Allegro 5 set of configurations. The library itself is uh, kind of a minimalistic, so all the add ons are separate. So if you don't need the add-on, you, you don't need to add it, and it decreases your library size, decreases your executable. So for my example, I'm going to add a true type font. So to, to come over here and click yes, but to add the true type font, we also need to install the font. So the true type font builds on the font, so we have to have the font first. Just make sure that both we'll say yes. You don't need to put no on the others. It's default no. Hit apply. Right click your properties, your project again, and go to add new item. We're going to create a, a CPP file. It's just We can just leave it as source. That's fine. First, we need to add the, the Allegro header. They're all prefixed with Allegro 5. And the main header is also Allegro 5. Then we're going to add the font. And this one is Allegro font.h. And we'll just copy paste and change this one to the true type font, TTF. Create your main. The library has to be initialized, and it's just al and it. All the Allegro functions itself will be prefixed with this al underscore. We also need to initialize the font add-on and the TTF add-on. Those are done the same way, so it's init font add-on. And the other is just the same, this TTF. I uh, need to add the font to the directory, so right click on your project again. Down at the bottom, open folder in File Explorer. That's just, this is your project directory. Here's your source file. You can go up one to this right above here. This is your solution directory. And for me, I just have this font here. Go back to the solution, go back to the project. Make sure you put it in the project directory. So hit rename and it's just going to copy paste but we're not actually going to rename it. Go back here. We're going to first create a display. Let's make a simple one. 640, 480, there. And I'll just, I won't print anything out, but I'll have a just a return, negative one. Then we need to load our font. Uh, 
L load. There's a load font and a load TTF font. And if you're using true type fonts, make sure you use the TTF font. Give it the name. We need the size. So let's do, I'll just do 64 and we'll leave the flags default. Check to make sure it loads correctly. And anytime you create an object or load an object, you need to free it. So at the bottom, we're going to destroy font. You, you just leave it. There's no destroy TTF font. It's just a font. And I'll destroy display. But if I ran that, it would open and close right away. So let's do a little something with it. Actually, let's... First, we need to clear the screen. So we're going to clear to color. We need this Allegro color object, and there are functions to help map integers to that so map rgb will help it'll convert to rgb colors into the allegro color so let's just do white which is 255 255 and 255 for all red green and blue we're going to draw the text with our font uh, we need another color so let's pick uh, black Give it a little offset. Uh, flags are default, and if you default, it means it's uh, left aligned because there are sent, uh, justified, uh, right aligned, etc. And hello world. These are drawn, um, the way it works is everything's drawn to a back buffer just to help decrease flickering. So what you do is you draw everything to the back buffer and then you have to put that back buffer to the front and just kind of like work it that way. So we need to move that back buffer to the front by flipping the display. And we'll just give it a little uh, time. This is in seconds, so let's do 10 seconds. So to run for 10 seconds and close. Compile it, make sure everything compiles right, no errors, and run it. Hello world. So to run for 10 seconds and close. Maybe I should have done five seconds. There we go. There's your first program. And I will see you in the next one where we delve deeper into Allegro and other programming. Thank you. Have a good night.